saw one of our subscribers. Um, they left a comment on one of the videos, one of the clips that dropped, and um, he made an interesting theory, or I guess, or um, an attempt at a theory. He said, "What if the reason why um, Sarda and um, what's her name, Sumire, isn't affected by it is because they're in love with Boruto." The reason why they're not affected by any of Ada's abilities. What do you guys think about that? I, I know he said it. He said it, he said that too. He said this. This is a horrible theory. I know, but what if that was, that's the reason? That was disgusting. My bad. What do you think, Bar? <laughs> well, there are there are only what two that are in love with him, and there are only two that are not affected by their love abilities. Bro, they twelve years old, bro. <laughs> what they know about love? Yeah, yeah. It's, kind it's, of. It's crazy. I, it, if that's the case, I, I don't necessarily think it'll be like a legit situation just because of the sheer fact that there's a bunch of other people on th in the hidden leaf fields that are kind of like in love. So like if they're not necessarily affected, like how is Shikamaru affected? Like now we're, we're now we've got to ask some bigger is, questions. Though, the it, difference is none of them are in love with an Osuski though. That's the big difference. I think that that's a different element. What I would say, however, is that I think that that would probably kind of be a cop out. Mm -hmm. I think that there should probably be so, like a bigger, a bigger reason as to why they aren't necessarily affected. I would absolutely love like a different reason, personally. But if that's the reason, I mean, I guess if that, that's the reason <laughs> that they come up with, I can't necessarily <laughs> criticize them too much. But I'd personally prefer a new another reason. Yeah, it's like um, like how do you define love, anyways? You know, um, I think she could die. Would be classified as someone who loves Borto as a friend, so like it's it's Sarada's particular brand of love special, and and then if a romantic the case, type like, of love though, so like that's that's the difference between the love that sh you know Shikadai has for Borto than right. a Sumire or a um what's her name sorry I keep on forgetting names sorry I'm sleepy but yeah so they have a romantic uh, affection for Borto rather as everybody else just has a friendly right. affection for Borto you know. So, so then I would have to like draw a distinction like mm -hmm. between those two, which, which should be obvious. But then it's also like, how does that work mechanically for the ability itself? Right. Like, can the, does the ability is it the, is the ability sentient? Like, can it like determine like friendship, love from like romantic <laughs> love? And then like, does a twelve year old even know like can conceptualize like a romantic love in, in that way? I I'm not entirely sure. Right. I don't know. I mean, to me, like when Sarada was having that conversation with um. Sumire and Ada during their little slumber party. She seemed this seemed like one of, one of the few times that she actually got to kind of flesh out these concepts. She was blushing and stuff, so right. I'm not really sure, you know, her maturity level with that type of thing. But ultimately, I mean, I think that's just some bad writing. I'm gonna be honest with you. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know age is a big concept. You know, you say she's 12, but like that brings up like an interesting thing that uh, Ada says to Boruto all the time, like, "Yo, you're just 12. Are you sure? Like, you know." You, you know what you're doing, and he's positive he knows what he's doing. Um, I agree, like a 12 year old in um, the Western sense, they really wouldn't know what love is because the way that they're raised, but we're, we're, we're talking about a different, um, a different upbringing than what we're normally used to as Westernized humans, you know what I'm saying? So um, even, and this being a fictional story at that too, you know, so mm. I think that Sarda would because even um even so Sakura yeah Sakura she knew she loved um she knew she loved Sasuke she was what like eight or something like that some yeah so like I think that? super young I think or? they can I think Sorry. you can have like the concept of romance because um right. Sumire mentioned it mm -hmm. um before right um and then of course like um you know Mitsuki so on and so forth had this conversation with um Sarda before when they were on like the balcony um watching Boruto and Sasuke have their conversation. So I think they can conceptualize it, but to actually be like in the thralls of a romance or a right, love, right, 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 I think right. that takes a level of maturity and experience that- It does. Know, I mean, you can look around as a child and like mm -hmm. mimic things and understand concepts that you don't really partake in. Right. But ultimately, like even if, even if I were to grant it, that being the case, and then it gets back down to the ability, being able to distinguish love from, you know, romantic love from friendship, love from a love from a, of a parent, love of a, a i don't know a fellow citizen who loves the hokage son like that type of right. thing um yeah 
it, it gets really interesting. So I, I, I would I hope it. that there's like a deeper depth there. You know what I, mean? I would hope so too. I would hope so too. But I, I just yeah. thought that it would be an interesting talking point. So I just wanted to, you know, get you guys' opinions on it. I got you. Something also really interesting. Um, because I know we're pressed on time. Um, so I was looking at like Naruto the last movie, mm-hmm. and of course there's the obvious moon Otsusuki with their flag and their family crest being the Sinrigan visual aesthetic. Mm-hmm. But then also you have, you know, Sarada's new Mangekyo Sharingan pattern um, also being the main branch family of the Otsusuki on the moon's um, crest emblem, family emblem, right? With like the sunflower esque really? pattern. Oh yeah. 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 It, it, it's not a one to one comparison, um, but it, it's really interesting. Similar. Um, very similar, very similar. And I was also looking into, um, I was doing a lot of research because I, ha- I actually plan on making a video about something of the sort. Okay. Um, and I was looking into, I think it was like um, the optogram or um, how in, in Hinduism, that particular symbol mm-hmm. um, means something um, um, very um, important. Right. Um, I, I don't want to give too many details for the video that I'm working on, but um, that, that emblem, like when you go back to Sasuke, right? Like he has... I don't know what to call them, like the little spokes or whatever the case may be, but mm-hmm. Sasuke has like six, right? Six mm-hmm. paths um, where Sarada has eight, mm-hmm. which could indicate something a little bit more advanced for her. And then also, mm-hmm. if you look at the crest for the Otsusuki in and of itself, um, it looks very similar to Sarada's Mangekyo Sharingan with a little added um, this or that, right, mm-hmm. um, on top of it. Um, so I can definitely see uh, Sarada having a link through the aesthetic of her Mangekyo Sharingan to the Otsusuki on the moon and like the larger clan um, in general. And of course, the Uchiha are descendants from the Otsusuki. Right. And um, I brought up this concept called atavism where you can have like um, ancestral genetic traits. Of um, course. Kind of skip generations that are dormant and then they manifest in later generations um, under certain conditions. So in, in this hypothetical, um, um, I mean, that Shiba actually Otsusuki. happens, though. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I'm, I first learned about reality, this during Yu Yu Hakusho, show, Out of yeah. of the Mazuku, mm-hmm. with the Yusuke Yurameshi. Yes, sir. Um, no spoilers, though. Um, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yes, like, um, Shibai Otsusuki, an ancestor of Boruto, um, mm-hmm. and then the Jogan is something he possessed, but it, it was dormant throughout the generations, and then it manifested later on right. in Boruto for whatever reason. So, I'm um, the same for uh, Sarada. She could possess, like, a very special... Mangekyo um, Sharingan because of atavism or because of a link to the Otsusuki. And the mm-hmm. last thing I'll say, because I'm trying to like rush through this really quick. Um, the last thing I will say is um, I am curious about her Mangekyo in terms of how she got it through love. Or um, I, I always think it's a combination of fear and love. I think mm-hmm. love in and of itself is just kind of corny for I me personally. It was intense emotion. So I, I think it just has to be an intense yeah. emotion. Yeah, so I, I always tackle on fear with the love, but you can say love if you want to. Yeah. Um, so going back to like Black Zetsu deceiving the um, Uchiha, thinking that gonna, they had I to like kill. I was going to say that. I was going to bring that up. Yep. I was going to oh, bring oh, that up. I'll, when I I'll, 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 oh, go ahead. I'll leave that one no, for you. Go, I'll leave that go, one for you. Now, go no, ahead, no, no. Melo. Can you um, explain better than I can? So go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Now we, see, I'm trying to speed list through this because we're a little pressed on time, but yeah, yeah, um, so like Black Zetsu um, altered the stone tablet. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you go back to like Naruto part one, where uh, Itachi's talking to Sasuke before the end of part one, he's like, go, you know, underneath the, the whatever tile in the Uchiha hideout, you know, the stone, read that. And then Sasuke refuses to kill Naruto because he doesn't want to give Itachi the satisfaction. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that may have been some way of limiting the overall power of the um, yes. Uchiha. Right, yes, right. And exactly. I think the way Sarda manifested her mangekyo was the correct natural. Way. Exactly. 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 Yep. We're on the same page, which mm-hmm. could manifest um stronger, more potent um exactly. mangekyo in comparison to prior uh, generations. So yep. that that's one way she can scale, and then another way. Um, sorry, I'm taking up all the airtime. Um, and, and another bro. way Go is ahead. that You're the spending. um Sasuke in his eternal mangekyo Sharingan, I mm-hmm. do believe, is the first person to ever breed with an EMS. Um, mm. and the eternal mangekyo Sharingan is a genetic mutation from his base mm. Sharingan. Right. So that affects him on the um, genetic level. He passes that off to his offspring. So this could affect Sardis Mangekyo to where she could just activate an EMS mm. in and of itself right. to where she might not ever lose her life. Um, just some, some ideas I'm throwing out there. But uh, yeah. I'll, Do you I'll think that <laughs> Sasuke would be able to determine the differences between um, a regular MS and an EMS? Because um, he specifically said Mangekyo Sharingan. It's not I eternal think... Mangekyo. 
I think maybe I would say no, mm-hmm. unless there with one caveat, unless there's ever something stated that um they look at the actual pattern in and of itself and make some kind of distinction. But like I don't the think there's that many um well, well, I can assume, I can like speculate, but I don't think it's ever like stated mm. either way. So I think th- there's only like a handful of people who have ever even had an EMS, right? Like Madara and yeah. Sasuke. Yeah. I think that's, that's when it. you bring up like he was the first to mate. That makes a lot of sense. Right, right. So um, that's crazy. Yeah, no, it's it's, I didn't it's, even it's think interesting. About that. Yeah, that's super interesting. 